looking at the uh, Redback yearly school timer. This school timer you can program on, on software, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, for the whole year, you can cater for um, any existing events you have or uh, special days. It's MP3 based as well, so it's easy to change, change your music. You can cater for any pre-music. So you can set your whole year of pre-music and bells. Um, it has a random play on the music. Also has daylight savings uh, function as well, so you don't have to worry about when that when it happens. Works with any existing PA system, so there's no need to upgrade the PA either. And it's easy to carry forward. It's easy to carry forward the software if you've programmed today, uh, this year and you want to put it on to next year's. So you can easily carry it forward. We can show you that in the software as well. It's Australian made with a 10-year warranty. Has a remote bell option as well, which uh, I can show you on the back of the unit. Okay, so this is the, uh, the bell contact that I just talked about. So you can run a remote button back to, to, to the office. So you can activate the bell whenever you like. It has a 24 volt DC um, power supply, which plugs in here. And this is a 24 volt DC backup. So it will operate even if mains power goes out. It has um, timed switched outputs here that you can program in the, in the software. This is a, a battery backup for the, uh, for the clock. So it keeps the clock at the right time, easy to replace as you can see. These are individual uh, level controls for all, all, the, uh, all the outputs it has, whether it's pre-music, music, bell, you can adjust the levels accordingly. And, and this is standard RCA output, so you can connect to your existing PA system. Okay, we're looking at the software for the uh, yearly school timer. This is what it looks like when you first open it up. Uh, so we're going to do a new, new project here, so we just go File, New. And we can set the the calendar length. So we'll just do a year in this case. So we start on you know, the 1st of January. And let's go back to the 31st of December in the same year. And create a whole new calendar right in front of you. Now we need to add some events. So what an event is here, let's add an event. Let's call this uh, Normal School Days. Uh, we'll go Normal Days. This could be... And let's change the color, I don't particularly like black, so let's uh, make it say green. Uh, now what happens here is any time I click on a date, uh, it highlights it green. You can hold the shift key down and uh, highlight big blocks, as you can see. You can go through, and you could quite easily go through and do and do the whole year. I won't do the whole year just for the, uh, the, uh, the demonstration purpose here. Let's add another another event. Let's call this one public holidays. So public holidays. Let's change the color here. Let's make it red. Uh, public holidays. So we've got uh, and that's a public holiday. I'm not sure what the public holidays are, but you go through and, and you select the public holiday. And if you make a mistake, by the way, let's say you make that a public holiday and it's not a public holiday, just click normal days again here, and you can turn it green again let's add uh, let's add one more event and we'll call this one sports day you might have a special day where you need to organize the bell uh, at a different uh, different time I'll just pick another color again uh, let's maybe maybe it is on this uh, 3rd of February so and let's make that a sports day uh, so you can go through and fill the whole year as you can see now the next thing you need to do is you need to uh, within these days, you need to add some uh, event times. So uh, let's highlight the green one. Let's say add some morning music. Maybe you make some morning music um, play five minutes before uh, before the bell goes, which wouldn't be uncommon. So let's say that's uh, turn it on at eight fifty-five. See here. Uh, we want to output this to the pre-bell, which the folder could have music in it. And we want it to play for, say, uh, 4 minutes and uh, 59 seconds. Now, I'm doing that on purpose, because if you made it 5 minutes, then you'd have to ring the bell at 9.01. Click that, and now uh, let's add the bell. So we add another, another time to the event. It's called this morning bell. Morning bell, so we start that at nine o'clock. We're going to output output that to the bell, and let's say we need it to go for say ten seconds. 
Click OK. So what this means now is anything that's coloured green, this is what will happen every single day, every single day that you have highlighted through the uh, through the whole year that you would normally do. The other thing, of course, is uh, you might have daylight savings. You're in a state that has daylight savings. You can simply just add in the date that it starts and finishes. Uh, so once again, uh, I'm not sure when that would be, but uh, let's say it's here, uh, there. Uh, that there would automatically adjust the clock so you don't have to worry about when it uh, when daylight savings happens. You just do it at the start of the year and you can cater for the whole year. Uh, now, I just need to save that. So I just save that. Uh, I'll make a new folder and I'll call it uh, XYZ School just for the, um, the point of this exercise. XYZ School. Okay, so that's now saved. Uh, this is all saved on the SD card, which now just um, goes into the front of your yearly school timer, and away it goes. Now, let's say at the end of the year you want to um, reset the following, the next year. So what we can do here is we can bring forward. So we just go to uh, File and Bring Forward. And let's say we want to bring it forward uh, 12 months. Uh, now. What we need to do is keep everything as it is. So we're going to keep the day of the week for the normal days, the public holidays, and the sports event day. Uh, as you can see, currently that's on Monday the 3rd of the sports event day. And there's a public holiday on the 9th, on Monday the 9th. But of course, next year, that Monday won't be the 9th. So we just keep everything as it is for the next year. When I click OK, you'll see now that the public holiday is on the 8th and the sports day is on the 1st. So it caters um, to keep everything as it was the previous year. Now, if you need to change anything, of course, you can go in and edit. So if you need to edit normal school days or, or um, uh, you want to change the times, you can go in and you can edit the times. Let's just say that sports day is not there. You can obviously just uh, make that a green day. And maybe the sports day is now the 8th. You can change it quite easily um, for the following year. So that's a very quick rundown of how the yearly school timer software works. This is the front of the school timer. It has a remote bell button as well. You can make the bell ring whenever you like. This unit here just allows you to set your clock like a clock radio, so you can set your clock on, on the front and go into the menu. Isolate button so you can completely turn it off, so uh, no timers will work. The screen here just indicates what's going to happen during the day, a list of events that are happening, whether it's uh, you know lunch bell or pre-music, it, it's all displayed on the front screen. The memory card is on the front, that's an SD card, so easy access to make any changes, change your music, you can access it easily. So that's the Redback Yearly School Timer.